Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any question, please feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com about this video or any other video that I have posted in the past. If you have any video that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, recently, I had a conversation with a friend about noodles. And he told me that he loves noodles and he would like to eat noodles more often. However, he finds that prepping noodles is tedious and each time when he wants to have a noodle dish, he has to boil noodles. So he and I talk about is it possible to prep noodles in advance? And I told him that yes, because I have prepped noodles in advance about two or three years ago, I accidentally discovered is that I can boil spaghetti noodles. And after I boil them, I can store them in the refrigerator and they have an excellent shelf life. They last for up to 5 to 10 days, even 2 weeks. Now the nice thing to have the noodles prep in advance because now I start to be able to use the noodles in different ways other than just for making spaghetti. I discovered that with the spaghetti noodles, I can use it for lo mein, for chow mein, or even for pan fried noodles. This greatly enhanced my capacity to use the noodles and also it make my meal more interesting. So in today's video, I would like to talk about how to prep noodles in advance, how to use a template to prep not just only spaghetti noodles in advance, but any other type of noodles in advance. And the end result is that it will greatly enhance your repertoire that will allow you to make your meal more interesting because you can use many different kinds of noodles. And it turned out that every time when I go to visit a Asian grocery store, I always overwhelmed by the amount of noodles that they have. They usually have a couple aisles of different kinds of noodles. There are different type of noodles in terms of the type of material that want to make noodles, such as of course wheat noodles, but it also has rice noodles, noodles that make from sweet potatoes, noodles made from mung beans, and different kinds of noodles also in terms of their thickness and the variety is almost mind-boggling. Now, I always want to try different kinds of noodles, but I'm not sure how is the best way to boil them, how the best way to prep them, and what would be their shell life. So over the past couple years, I have experiments with many different kinds of noodles, and I find out that not only they are very simple and very straightforward to prep them, they all have excellent shell life. You can store most of them up to 10 days or longer. So right now, I usually have at least several different kinds of noodles in my refrigerator. So each night when I get home, if I want to have a noodle dish, I have several noodles to choose from. It is almost seems like you are live in an area have all kinds of noodle shops because most noodle shops will only present one type of noodles and you have to go to different shops. For example, if you want to go to a noodle shop that have uh, rice noodles versus another noodle shop, maybe have a Korean uh, sweet potato noodles, or maybe go to a uh, typical spaghetti noodle place. But with this, you will have all these noodles available to you right at your fingertip. So today I would like to present you with a basic template of how to prep noodles. And then I will also discuss what is the best way to store them. Now, prepping noodles turn out to be really simple, far simpler than what it appears on the surface. Because when you first look at different kinds of noodles, you wonder, can you prep them in the same way? They look so different, and you expect them that maybe you have to use special method to prepare them. And sometimes the instruction at the back of the package do not help. They make it sound more complicated than what it should be. Okay, so let me show you what is the most basic and fundamental way and this is a template for prepping noodles. First of all, what would be the best utensil for prepping noodles? Well, most people have a spaghetti pot, which I used to have. And I really don't like it very much because the spaghetti pot is not enough or not large enough to accommodate the spaghetti noodles. In order to fit it in, you have to break the noodles. And I don't like that very much, but I would do it anyway. And then I discover that the best way to prep noodles is actually in a wok, specifically a 14-inch stainless steel wok. And I will explain to you the, about the stainless steel pot. But the 14-inch is definitely is a tremendous advantage, particularly for prepping spaghetti noodles, because we all know spaghetti noodles come in 12-inch length. 
and the 40 inch wok is wide enough so that you can place the 12 inch spaghetti noodle directly into the wok without having the need to break them. And also, the 14 inch wok has a large opening, so it is much easier for you to manipulate the noodles for stirring the noodles and you don't have to worry about the noodles sticking to the bottom of the pan at all. Another advantage of a 14 inch wok, because of its large opening, the water will never boil over. The size of the 14 inch wok has another significant advantage. Because of its size, it's easy to be able to accommodate an entire package of spaghetti, which usually about two pounds in weight. This will allow you to cook significant amount of spaghetti that you can use it in advanced prepping. You can store it away for you to use at a later time. Now, the advantage of uh, this approach will allow you to boil almost any type of noodles, any type of sizes. Usually, you can accommodate uh, a significant large package of noodles of any different types. For example, I have used this for cooking all different kinds of noodles, all the way from rice noodles, sweet potato noodles, mung bean noodles, and different kinds of wheat noodles. Now, the stainless steel wok has one significant advantage as compared to a carbon steel wok, which I would like to briefly address. A stainless steel wok is similar to almost all the other cooking utensils that you have in your kitchen. You can clean it, you can use it exactly the same way that you use with other cooking utensils. The carbon steel wok is a little bit more challenging because the carbon steel wok can rust. And the carbon stock, when you boil it in water, it will remove that protective oil film layer that will prevent it from rusting. So if you do use the carbon steel wok for boiling the noodles, you need to make sure that you coat the carbon steel wok with a thin layer of oil before you store it away. And the next consideration that you probably have wondered is that how long should you boil the noodles? And there's really no fixed time. Different type of noodles require different type of boiling, and different material or different type of ingredients that make up the noodle also dictate slightly different time for boiling them. But I can give you one single general rule that is the thicker the noodle, the longer you have to boil it. And the type of noodles that particularly uh, make from such as rice will take shorter time to boil as compared to wheat noodles. All of those considerations that you can take in mind, but the most important thing at the end is your taste. How did you feel about the texture of the noodles when you taste it? Well, first of all, I discovered that different people have a different idea what is the ideal texture for the noodles that they are looking for. But the best way is that to cook your noodles to about maybe 80% of the doneness that you want, and in the Italian style cooking, which means al dente. And this way uh, will allow you to give time for the noodles to reach its uh, perfect texture. Now, it's important to remember, uh, when you taste it in boiling water, even though it might taste to be perfect for you, but once you transfer it, it actually is going to be overcooked. And that's the reason that you might want to cook it to about 80% of the texture that you would like to. So how to stop the noodle from cooking? There are many different ways. And the best way I have discovered is that to use a large bowl of cold water and put it right next to the wok. And when you're ready, uh, you just transfer the noodles into the cold water because this will stop the noodle from cooking immediately. It's much better than to try to drain the water because while you drain the water, the noodle will be continue to be cooked. And when you transfer it in the cold water, you will stop it right away. Uh, I'm fortunate that I have this large bowl. Uh, it has a colander inside. And so this way, I can fill the bowl with water and then I put the noodles into this bowl and then I let it sit for just a minute or so. Then I can drain the water and this way, I will stop the noodle from cooking almost immediately. The last step in storing the noodle turned out to be quite important. You should portion the noodle as soon as you can, uh, rather than let the noodle to sit for a while, because once the noodles start to cool and sit, uh, the starch on the surface of noodles tend to cause them to stick together, and it makes it difficult for you to separate them. In this way, you can store the noodle in the portion that you would like. I usually store them in a plastic container. Now, the best way to store them is that instead of pile all the noodles together, you can store them into little bundles. And this way, when you try to take them out, you can remove them as a little bundles. This will allow you to use uh, the amount that you want. For example, if I want to make it in a noodle soup and I only want a small bundle for my breakfast or maybe for lunch, I can easily separate 
because they're already formed in this bundle. So I don't have to tear them apart. And this makes it much easier when you're ready to use it. So here it is. Uh, you can prep noodles in all different kinds, in all different formats. By using this simple method, you will be able to, first of all, able to boil the noodles in such a way to the text that you would like. Everything comes down to noodles is just to boil them. That is the, as simple as it could be. And using the wok, particularly a stainless steel 14 inch wok, is the, probably the best way for you to boil noodles. And the timing, all varied, depends on uh, the thickness of the noodles, the kind of noodles they are, and of course, depend on what kind of texture that you would like. And also, stopping the noodle from cooking is really important so that they will not be overcooked. All the noodles could be treated in exactly the same way. This is a basic template. You will find it to be extremely useful. And by prepping all the noodles in advance in different types of categories, different kind of thickness, you can store them in a refrigerator. And over a period of maybe several days or a week, you can have different kinds of noodles at your disposal anytime you want. And I always have at least two or three different kinds of noodles in my refrigerator and I enjoy them enormously. I use them for breakfast, I use them for lunch, I use them for dinner, even for late night snack. And with different kind of noodles, they can serve different purposes. And sometimes, because of the availability, I become far more creative in how I use them. So give it a try if you like noodles, and this will give you an opportunity to explore all different kinds of noodles. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system, which will make your home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun so that you can make home cooking as a viable alternative to fast and ultra processed food. So if you are interested in my cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.